Now there's something in here that must be decodified. Oedipus and the Sphinx. The Egyptian Sphinx is closely related to the Greek legend of Oedipus. What did Oedipus do? He killed his father and married his mother. Now, stop a minute. It's 1994. The black man is under attack. The white man, for fearing genetic annihilation with the increasing ozone and the upcoming global warming, decides that he must mix his genes into the black population to, to, to survive the upcoming uh, global connection. Having understood that the dinosaur, the most powerful animal on the earth, did not die because a greater enemy defeated him, they understood that the dinosaur failed to adapt to a changing climate. So it didn't get whipped by a bigger animal, it got whipped by climate control. So now the genetic inferior whites have decided that they will murder their father, marry their mother, and mix their genes to survive to 2050. And in the tape, the conspiracy to destroy black men, I talked to them brothers about the essence of what they must do. Sister, you may have a problem with brother, but don't let the hunky kill the brother because they will hunky you off for your choice. Sleep with me or die. And that might seem like an awesome option, but that will be the option if the military is off the set. And what are the young black males? The young black males have decided that they will get the OEO boy. We'll get the military. We'll get the police. We'll ring our wagons around them, Coley, while you go around in and get Rockefeller. So when someone tries to neutralize the youth, which is what Jackson and the League of Women Voters come right up out of here, didn't she? The Lord Sutter and Dick Gregory and the rest of them are doing is targeting the youth for the hunky. I know what the hunky wants. He wants a young black male, and they're offering them up for grant money in the anti-crime budget. <laughs> Now, I saw our crazy in that video over there. Who else want to ride for ticket? Because uh, they ain't going to have his brother in the back. Because I saw crazy says that kinetically, what this slab says is Lord of the Landlords. Makes sense to me. Lord of the Landlords. They don't own it. They just supervise it for some reason. Mandela's about to be head of South Africa. Only problem is... White's got deeds on 97% of the land. What does that mean? He will oversee. He will be the Lord of the landlord. That's why he got his ass out of jail. And as soon as he get lined up, they're going to kill him. And his sister waited for him 27 years, and he couldn't stay with her 27 days. Yes, brother. Uh, I have a very good friend who's uh, south, from South Africa, and he's not able to go back. And he said that they had taken Mandela out of prison ten, for 10 years, once a year, to negotiate that he give up the 80... Uh, ADL's ten ten that said they would nationalize the whole of the land, land exactly. which they gave up to get And that's, how they, that's why they that's let him out, when he made the decision to give up 80% of the land. And it was Anglo-American Corporation that went in there and got him, which you yeah. saw on PBS with Harry Oppenheimer a couple of weeks ago, when they confessed that they did everything Dr. Collard ever said they did. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right? The beers. Now, listen to this. It says that the Grecian Sphinx is key on the number nine. Because it goes through that riddle. What walks on four legs, then on two legs, and on three legs. Well, yeah, that went right. How'd that go? All right, all right. But nine, the number nine. The number nine made some sense to me when I looked at the call chart. See, I used to never put the pressure on the undergraduates. I used to never put the pressure on the undergraduates until I figured out that the book on the number nine. One, two, three, four, male. One, two, three, four, female. Four, female. Four, male. And who left? Me not. So that the Boulay's logo, the Grecian Sphinx, wasn't an arbitrary picture. It was a picture that described the only nationally recognized Greek institutions in the black community. Four male, four female, and the Boulay, the capstone.
the Godfather, the first of the first. Mm. The one that said we use Greek tradition to because our goal is to acquiesce with Western civilization. See, I thought it was really sneakily an African thing. But now I see it was a Greek thing because getting with the hunky was what it is about. Which is why I put the pressure on the oath takers because I perceive that the reason Ebony, Boulet Magazine, always plays out the various fraternity and sororities is that it's about keeping the spirit of leadership within the combine that must never utter who the Grecian Sphinx protects. You see, what Jesse couldn't do that you heard on that tape was that he couldn't name certain elements because the riddle to the Grecian Sphinx is that we will protect the fair order of the table ground. They serve one maiden only, and for her they live through years of noblest deeds. Let me show you. Watch this. Now you understand that meant Alpha Phi Alpha, Kappa Alpha Psi, Phi Beta Sigma, Omega Psi Phi, Zeta Phi Beta Alpha Kappa Alpha, Delta Sigma Theta, and uh, Sigma Gamma Rho. With the Sigma Phi Phi, and they miswrote that. They miswrote Sigma Phi Phi. That's not the way the Sigma Phi Phi write it. Which means that even in laying it out, they mislaid it, so you still wouldn't know who the Godfather was. Some of the other graduates don't know about the job. Do they teach you anything about the Boulé? I know I've seen the Kappa book. There's one little paragraph that mentions Sigma Phi Phi in the history book. Just one little bit. And it doesn't really describe it. It just acknowledges that the first of this trend was Sigma Phi Phi found in 1904, and period. One paragraph, maybe page six or seven. All of them only have one paragraph describing the acknowledgement. Yeah, that book that Brother Charles is holding, it's a book written by Brother Brunson, who I went to school with in Northern Illinois, who wrote a book on the Greek, uh, the African uh, base of the Greek fraternity and sororities. And he's out there, he mentions the boule in there. It's a very interesting book. Now, this Grecian speaks keyed on the number nine. Means that the symbolism related to it must have other things related to it. Now, why let's go back. It says here, watch this. The Sphinx is therefore the mystery of nature, the embodiment of the secret doctrine. All who cannot solve her riddle perish. To pass the Sphinx is to attain personal immortality. Now, watch this. Discovering one who knew her answer, discovering one who knew the answer to her riddle, the Sphinx cast herself from the cliff which boarded the road and perished. What does that mean? That means that the Grecian Sphinx contains knowledge of certain things that if you reveal what they keep secret, you render their position impotent, and they must destroy themselves like a trigger mechanism. You understand why they resist so hard to knowledge, brothers? Do you understand why the sister would work so hard to keep you off the air if you pledge to go that way? Because the people that control her, like the wicked witch of the West, will evaporate when you put the water of knowledge on them. Just like Eveline went when they flushed her down the toilet. You remember when Eveline went down the toilet in the Wiz, the Black Wiz? She was, her song was, don't bring me no bad news. <laughs> Check. 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 But when the little munchkins had gotten rid of that coordinator, what'd they do? They took no. off the uniform and sang another song. Can you see a brand new day? So you're right. Because, because Eveline, like the others in the story, once their role of protecting and guardian has been revealed, there's nothing for them to do. So if you're a griffin guarding the gate and you didn't got past, the griffin must self-destruct. So the pressure we receive from Boulay types over the penetration of the information is the acknowledgement that they will lose prosperity and prestige and access to the hunkies if we beat what it is they hold us back from. 
just want to let you know how deep the oath taker is in. Which one do I need to know? We got me doing the minutes. Okay, got, got, we got the strap. All right, all right. Now, now. So you, you with me? Yes. Right, you see that? She's talking about that story. Remember in the story, my little child out there with my kids. Saw the same thing unfolded. That when the Sphinx, when they got past the Sphinx, the Sphinx just uh, destroyed it. Now to a child, they might not understand that's fixed into a legend. They saw it. She said, I saw that. Fixed into, not knowing that it's a legend. Top. They have committed the destiny of their race to that legend. Edifice. They must murder their father and marry their mother. That, that's the only way they can make it across. See, you didn't cross the burning sand. You was already there. Only the mother ones who took on lessons after they left town had to cross the burning sands. That's one of the little things inside the rivers uh, for the undergraduates. Anyway, show you right. Everybody ain't gonna catch that. Anyway, now, okay, you with me so far? Now, to pull this off, to pull this off, there must be the development, huh? Okay, 300, you hear it here, you hear it there. But the round table group is the Rhodes Rothschild Secret Society. And we know now for sure that the reason they have never uttered the instruments of these people is because they serve it as a guardian. And then when I go to the second half, I'll tell you about the guards, men who guard the boule, who guard the round table. A circle, within a circle, within another circle now. A group of lower echelon black men who guard the boule, and the female connection is called the lynx. The lynx. And the incubator child connection is Jack and Jill went up the hill. <laughs> the Jack and Jill of America. <laughs> Let's go back over to the Grecian Sphinx. There is now the desire to create a new population of people called multiracial. <laughs> These are the mixed population people, multiracial. The movement is fueled by one million biracial or multiracial people who, according to national statistics, were born in the last 20 years. Across the country, a growing movement of people who do not fit into the traditional racial classifications is gaining momentum. The whites are creating that new population called clear. They're not white. They're not black. They're multi-racial. Oh, he, he's back now. He found out it did make a difference. <laughs> Remind me in the next half to talk about the extraordinary individuals, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, and Magic Johnson. You need to know something, how that fits into the movie Rollerball, where the extraordinary individual became the threat to the system because the organizations had failed to deliver, and they knew that. So then they only were threatened by individuals who could spark people into other things. Every time the Bulls won a championship, the little black people who could not be driven to fight against the hunky because the organizations in Chicago would do it. It ended up in the spirit of celebrating a Bulls victory, they beat every hunky they could get their hands on. <laughs> when Dallas won the Super Bowl last year, the first time they had a big parade, the little brothers and the little sisters got to downtown Dallas, they kicked ass. This year they didn't have no parade like that, <laughs> right? And so the extraordinary individual is a threat to the system because the organization's been tied down or distracted. So the extraordinary individual could incite large masses of people for one reason and then transfer the aggression at a later moment and 
substitute a new target and become a threat to the system. And that's when they turned to Jonathan and they said, Jonathan, you need to retire. You become too big for the game. The people were becoming emotionally involved in the game. The corporations had taken over for the countries and sports was something to relieve your aggression against authority figures. And every Sunday they got football day, football night, football on Monday, football on Thursday. Y'all be watching it so hard, y'all be tired when the game be over. You ain't even played. And sister, you know brother don't be want no sex when he be watching football in them sports. Because he too tired for sex because the TV done worked him out. And that's all it was supposed to do is make him tired without lifting a finger. Check. Yeah. We'll talk about that, but the last little part of this is that the multiracial population group is on the move, and every one of the whites have come on board to say they would marry a sister if they had to. I see you out there in a minute. As you can see, that's the New Yorker magazine, February 15, 1993, when the Hasidic Jew came on board and said I'd marry a sister too if I had to. 